Green recovery is important for young Canadians, since we need to make sure our response to this crisis sets us up to weather future crises too. To me, a green recovery very simply means an economic recovery that seriously takes into account that we are facing a climate crisis as well as a series of ecological issues that need to be addressed. There are three key things the government needs to do to get us on the right path. First of all, we need very concrete plans, things like massive incentives to retrofit buildings, reforestation, regenerative practices in agriculture. This also means putting clear standards and conditions on the money government spends to get industry to cut pollution, make sure the recovery benefits workers, and get Canada to zero emissions by 2050. The second thing is more accountability. We want our own government to hold themselves accountable. And third, a green recovery must put people first and leave no one behind. That means talking about social justice as well. A green recovery would also mean making sure youth have decision-making power or opportunities to co-design these policies. I'm Vanessa Corkle, a researcher working on climate change, clean energy, and recovery from COVID-19. Hi, bonjour, my name is Ali Rougeau. I'm the coordinator of Fridays for Future Toronto and I am a student at the University of Toronto. The COVID-19 crisis is the hardest period many of us have ever lived through. Yet we also have the opportunity to rebuild in a better way. But it will take a real commitment from government. Policymakers' economic decisions over the next few months are going to impact us for decades. So it's important we listen to youth and get recovery right. No matter what climate change is there, it will impact my life and the life of most people around us. And we can't change that, but we can change to what extent it does. And this is what the green recovery still has the power to do right now.